three of the six boys accused in a night-long crime spree, including the death of an Uber driver, are heading to trial. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shamert. I'm Julie Cornell. Two brothers, a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old, Trenton and Deshaun Tapesworth Hunt, waived their preliminary hearings in court today. But a 14-year-old, Joseph Keyes, did not. And because of that, we're learning more about the investigation into that night. Okay, it's News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe was in court and brings us these new details. Waverly? Uh, Bill and Julie, this investigation has a lot of video evidence and some of it coming from the suspect's own cell phones. Investigators say those clips and GPS tracking plus the surveillance evidence collected from the multiple scenes match the events that happened the night of August 13th. Detective Chad Frodima spoke on the stand for more than 30 minutes in Douglas County Court today, detailing how 14-year-old Joseph Keyes is connected to a string of crimes with a crew of five other teen boys. The group of six came together sometime after 7.45 p.m. Frodima says the night first started at the quick trip on 120th and Dodge. Around 10.55 p.m., the group approached a man demanding money and his car keys. Last month, KETV obtained dash cam video showing part of that robbery. Frodima says three of them were armed. Keys, 16-year-old Talon Wilson, and a 13-year-old suspect KETV is not naming because he's charged as a juvenile. That video shows next that uh, those juvenile males approach with their firearms. They leave with only a wallet and SIM card. An hour later, Frodima says they drove to 94th and Katy Court, where the teens carjacked 64-year-old Marsal Jama and shot him in the abdomen. The Uber driver died at the hospital. Frodima says security video shows the teens go to Jama's garage and you can hear yelling between the victim and suspects. You uh, hear a distinguishing gunshot sound and a retreat of several of the juveniles who approached. Uh, quickly, those juveniles turned back around and ran towards the garage. Uh, they jumped into a vehicle that belonged to the victim and left the scene. Frodima says the night ended with a multi-county chase with at least four being taken into custody. County attorney Don Klein says the teens were driving upwards of 120 miles per hour. Obviously, when they were being chased through Odo County, Cass County, Sarpy County, Douglas County, and end up on 46 and L there. So and then all bailed out of the vehicle. So yeah, it was, it was extremely chaotic. The two others were taken into custody days later, all facing multiple charges, the most significant first degree murder. And as phones were confiscated, Frodima says GPS tracking and videos of the teens holding guns tied everything together. When you see these kinds of things happen and, and guns getting stolen by very young people and they're kind of showing them off on video, you know, pointing them at each other, moving around with them. Uh, it's extremely disturbing. Now, Frodima says the group is linked to the McGill's gun shop robbery in Nebraska City. That's where investigators told us that's where the chase actually started because the teens went back to that gun shop. Now, Frodima says they stole nine guns from that shop. Two were recovered from the scene. And to date, five total guns have been recovered by law enforcement. Wow. Back to you.